Hi, and welcome to the Patty Lynn Show. As you can tell from the background, it is December and Christmas is right around the corner. So we are um, talking about how busy we are have been. Yes, the holiday season is upon us. Yes. So I am Patty Lynn and I'm one of the directors with GALS. And this is Don Renee, another one of our directors. And we have a fun show planned for you today. We are talking about Christmas and the ups and downs and all arounds of it, as well as we will do some party tips with Party Lynn and we will do the diva way with Don Renee. Yes, yes. <laughs> so as we always like to start with our conversation questions. I have, you know, I have this pack of conversation cards and we actually went through quite a few that we were not going to do. <laughs> right. So, um, they, they were just either maybe not, not appropriate, but just, you know, we picked some really good ones. Yes. Let's absolutely. just say that. <laughs> All right. So the first top topic here for opening starters. So we're going to say what we have as our answers, and then you can post down below your answers because we love to hear what you would choose and this is if you were going to college in the fall what would you study hmm. that has changed a lot since I was 18 yes yes so I don't know if I were going to college next fall I think I would do um probably economics again Ooh, yeah. yeah again so you've done it before I have done it before um but just kind of a refresher of things to make sure things are on the up and up. Yeah. So yeah, never too bad for up. Fresh. Economics is good. Yeah. You know, I, I said I'm different than I'm 18. Of course I am, but I did psychology and counseling and I'm still super interested in that. So actually, mm, what would you say? Mm, I might do, I might do a social work degree. Oh. Um, I feel like that opens a lot of doors. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There's so much, there's so much you could do, but anyway, that's probably mm. off the top of my head. Yeah. I don't want to go back to college though. I, was gonna say, I can see you doing that, right? <laughs> Nor do I. But... Because I have thought about going back to school. My mom went back to school late in life yeah. and got her teaching degree at 60. Uh -huh. So, you know, I thought, oh, well, it's never too late for a career change. Never. So absolutely. But nothing, nothing's on my agenda here. So <laughs> all right. this is a little wobbly. I'm trying not to touch this. So we're not looking like we're in an earthquake. <laughs> we're not. We're safe. We're not. <laughs> all right. Well, here's another. If you were. Okay. If you could start your life over as a baby if you could start your life over what would you do differently mm, yeah. I think this really speaks to regrets maybe yeah or um I don't know I think learning how to mm, it's a little deep maybe feeling a little bit more worthy yeah I guess and also setting boundaries because for me personally it was something that I learned later on in life so yeah yeah, I think as we age or mature, <laughs> we have all this life experience that gives us wisdom. Yeah. So some of those, you know, times when people would will ask things like, would you redo high school? Say, well, mm -hmm. can I know what I know now and go and redo it? Right. Or would you start again with your kids as babies and do it over? Yes, if I can know what I know now. But okay. if I just have to relive it, I mean, I actually would love to relive those baby years and growing up years with my kids. Parent, what, you know, as a parent, yes. You just want to yeah, have those memories again. Yeah. But, um, but it's, you know, no big differences. You know, I, I mentioned regret and I didn't go to my grandma's funeral. I felt guilty about work, work. Mm. I should have gone. I should have said, I'm sorry, it's inconvenient for you. Yeah. My grandma's only going to have a funeral once and I'm going to go to it. Yeah. But I was young, you know, twenties. And I just thought, oh, I got to work. I have work to do. Yeah. 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 That's it's one of those. Things. So I do that differently. Yeah. But you I, know. Agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. All right. Let's do a lighter question here. If you were going to a costume party, which woman would you love to dress up as? 
<laughs> I'm going to say Wonder Woman. And so, oh, <laughs> no. Okay. Would you a retro Wonder Woman or the new Wonder Woman? Oh, because I was going to be, I actually have been the new Wonder Woman when the movies were out. My daughter has an October birthday and she always makes us dress, not always, but often makes us dress up for her birthday. <laughs> so, is that the kind with the leotard and the gold belt? Um, I put on a little blue skirt oh, and then yes, boots with thing on it and the head and the arm thing. To borrow your outfit. Yeah, it's in a box in the garage. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah Wonder Woman. Yeah, Stand Wonder Woman. Woman. Okay, we're both Stand Wonder Woman. We should. We actually should have a party where everyone comes as a Wonder Woman. Because oh. you are all wonderful. <laughs> we are all Wonder Woman. There we go. I like I know. That. I, I think that's the thing. Something we should do. Oh, my brain I'm is serious. clicking. I know. Click, click, click. Wonder Woman's everywhere. Everywhere. I know. So. I like that one. All right. So comment your answers here. Tell us. What woman would you like to dress up like as? Or do you want to be Wonder Woman with us? <laughs> right. You can never have too many Wonder Woman. Right. Okay. So conversation questions. We did that. Okay. Christmas. Oh, Christmas. That's our topic. So it's a really broad topic. I, we are eight days out. Eight days? Set five. Oh, oh my goodness. Have, what's today? Five today's days out. 20, yeah, five. Four counting New Year's Eve. I mean, <laughs> Christmas Eve, excuse me. Okay, so not very many days. No. So always, you know, people always ask, you know, are you ready for Christmas? I'm not. I, I answer it differently different times because sometimes someone will ask you and I'm like, yeah, go, let's go. I'm ready. I know all my presents are wrapped, but I just want to party, right? I don't care. Let's just, let's go. <laughs> or the person doesn't know me really. It's like a checker in the store. Are you ready for Christmas? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, you know, I can't get into this right now. <laughs> right. It's too much. Right. But I don't know. For me this year, it's a little bit better. I feel like more in the spirit of Christmas, but now I'm just fighting my procrastination. I think that's what I'm doing. Yes. I'm making myself wrap presents what I feel is early. It's not early. It's right on time, but I'm like, okay, got to get in there, wrap presents and just a few. And I like it. I don't really like wrapping presents. I've done a lot of, when the kids were little Christmas Eve wrapping, then you're just thinking I'm putting this on and they're going to rip it off in the morning. Mm, I did that. So it just kind of feels like, and then they invented gift bags. (laughs) (laughs) when my kids were little i sewed a bunch of cloth gift bags so and i actually have a niece that's knitting uh, knitting gift bags so there we have a bunch of reusable i like that idea yeah i like it Mm -hmm. so but christmas brings up a lot of i think for women a lot of expectations for me i i put them on myself i think but Mm -hmm. i want to have a great memory for all the ki- the kids, especially now that they're living away from home and they come in and I want mm-hmm. them to be like, yes, I want to be here. And mom made such good food and all my childhood snacks are here. We have definite Christmas snacks that we have like Chex Mix. And oh yeah. Yeah. I want to make sure I have all that for them. And that's, I, I try to get them, everyone to help. I try not to take it all on. Like it's just me holding the fort, but yeah. it's still. Yeah. I've I always, think... that was me. I always try to hold the fort. It's a little bit different now that mine are a little bit older. And now actually my daughter's been hosting the oh, holidays. Yeah. So that's been a nice little, you know, away kind of thing. So she loves doing the hostessing kind of thing and it's fun. doing all the things. So it's been fun and making those memories to do that now. Yeah. Yeah. I think it just changes. Christmas is, is different when you have kids that are grown and married, right? you know, and they're going to then start having their own kids. And then what are they going to want to do? And it just kind right, of right. morphs, but can still be beautiful. Yeah. And I think for me and just in the seasons past, it just depends on how the year was going though, too, because I've had it be different things because some you were on highs and sometimes you were on lows. So it just depends. Mm-hmm. And Christmas has always kind of been what it is or what you can make it. So mm-hmm. as a mom, I've always tried to make the best of it. So now I'm just trying to create more memories versus yes. things. Yes. And I think too, um, you know, with the the grown kids and all that, I I just really like to ask them and I get back. We want to have a movie night. Okay. 
Oh, oh yeah, whatever the Christmas movie is that they want to watch. Okay. I, I love a movie night. <laughs> I know. And go see lights. Let's go oh, yeah. see the lights. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So however we do that, there's a lot of different ways you can go see lights, mm -hmm. you know, and um, yeah, we did, I don't know. We did cookies last yes. year. We made cookies and yep. cookies. Um, this week we're actually, she'll be hosting another Christmas. So. Yeah. Be good. But you did mention the uh, highs and lows of Christmases. Yes. And I think that, you know, we, we should at least acknowledge that this, you know, this could be a hard Christmas. Yeah. yeah. You know, and for us, it's um, the Christmas where we're not going to have all our kids on Christmas Day. So yeah. that's hard for me. <laughs> right. Yeah. And um, I know that's, you know, other, other people can anywhere in the last even, you know, 20 years, if someone who's passed. Yeah. I yeah. You feel the loss of that. You know, my mom, Yeah, you know, it's been 22 years, but it'd be nice to have her here at Christmas, especially every day, but actually, you know, yeah. I you mean, remember. You do, that. you do. And um, same with me. I mean, I both lost both mine and it's, the holidays are a little bit different. You don't go to, for us, it was visiting the facilities, mm -hmm. mechanical soft meals, you know, <laughs> the mashed potatoes and all that little stuff. But then um, I always used to, I was like, why did my mom wrap all these little presents? So she'd always wrap the little, the little ones, the bingo, her little bingo prizes that she'd win <laughs> and wrap them all up. And I was like, oh my gosh, all this stuff all over her house. But now I'm kind of like, I wish I had that little pile of mm -hmm. you know, Dollar Tree prizes that they win or all the stuff. So, but you yeah. know, now I can, take some of those and just keep those memories. So, yeah. Yeah. Take what we, what we liked and bring it into our family and change what yeah. has changed. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to talk a little bit more about Christmas in a little bit. We're going to a different segment. We're going to do party tips. Ready? Yay! <laughs> some party tips. So, Holiday party, if you have noticed on our gals Facebook page, we have our new challenges, um, cultivate your squad challenges. So getting your squad together and yeah. cultivating that group of women who you love to hang out with, who um, bring in new women. How are you to be mm -hmm. able to, to try new things with and yeah. Yep. Encouraging, uplifting and fun socializing mm -hmm. you know so the the december cultivate your squad challenge was have a holiday party so i know our utah gals had a christmas party and just last night we had our washington oregon uh, christmas party and so mm -hmm. we want to we want to hear if any of you guys had a you know called people in and had a christmas party and maybe that's one of your traditions anyway right. a great time of year for parties yeah. but we're going to do this in 2024 every month we're going to have a challenge and a, a theme and you can either follow the theme or go off book and right. do your own thing the most important thing is that you are making that time to cultivate those relationships and meet new women and grow and encourage one another and all those things so i want to let you know what the January okay, theme is. Ready. Go. Drum roll. Drum roll. <laughs> Drum roll. Okay, well, it's it's have a sparkly New Year's Eve bash. Oh. So and we are we are coinciding this with our uh social hours. So our social hour is on the first Thursday of the month, but in January we're gonna bump it down to the second Thursday because it's too busy still with New Year's. Yes, yes. So we're gonna do January 11th. So if you can call your friends, uh, find, pick someone who has the house. So you'll know who that is in your friend group. You know right, what I mean? Right. There's always someone that's like, oh, come over. So that's, and right. for me, that's me. Right, so, right, 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 right. <laughs> come on over to party. I got bags. enough plates and forks and chairs. We're good to go. <laughs> right. Yeah. So um, have, and it's not on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. We're doing it January 11th, but just, we could still kick off the new year and you can wear your sparkly best and serve a sparkly drink and right. have some sparkling conversations yes. with your sparkly friends. So there it's host a sparkling new year's Eve bash. And so Sparkles. that is your squad challenge and you will see it on our Facebook page as well as we'll be checking in. Okay. So. 
because oh. I want to hear I want to hear about all you guys' sparkly events. So yes, you know what I just saw. You can order. I guess there's always been edible glitter, but there's some that you can stir into drinks. I, I didn't order it because I still felt like you shouldn't ingest glitter. It says it's edible. <laughs> For your, you know, your sparkly drinks. That would be kind of cool, though. I really like the idea. Mm. But I didn't want to drink it. Okay. Well, okay, I'll order it. Can, then you, won't can we look at consumer research? <laughs> what does the FDA say? It's fun. I don't know. <laughs> but it sounds fun. Okay, so that was your party tip. Woo! <laughs> All right. So shall we go right into our next segment which is the diva way with don renee hey, so hey. don renee is our diva in gals and she has some tips on divaliciousness <laughs> yes it's all about divaliciousness here coming into the 2024 um one of the one things that i have put forward for 2024 is my word for the year which is intent or intentions um so basically I'm going into 2024, being mindful of what I'm doing and putting my energy in, being intentional with what I'm doing. And um, so I, I'd like to actually to hear if there's anything that what your word for the year will be for 2024. So um, yes. What would your word, what's your word for 2024? Well, I like intention. Uh, what about organization? I don't know. I'm going to have to give us some thought. So yeah. by the next show. Yes. I'll know my word. Okay. I've never picked a word. I have too many words. You don't. Oh. I'm like a, a word hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, 2024. Okay. Think of your word. Next, when we come back to the Diva Way with Don Renee in our next episode next month. Next episode. I would love to hear and I would love to share some of the words mentioned for the 2024 year. Yes. And we'll do a post. Yes. Do a, post. Do a post. And so that'll be easier to. Yeah. And I'll do a post that way as well. So then that way you could. Yeah. Yes. We'll do that. I like that. Yeah. I like intent. Mm -hmm. I'm saying organization because I was trying to get organized today. It would be good. But it's all about being intentional. Intentional. I like yeah. With your time. Yes. And, and what you resources. pour in resources, what you put your time into. Because um, I just feel like we can, for me personally, I'm a giver, giver, giver. So then you can't fill cups with empty cups. True. So yes. it's all about intention and, and how that purpose or that time is going to be pur purposeful for you in return. So, I mean, um, yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Well, thank you. Miss yes. Don Renee, the diva way. Diva way with Don Renee. <laughs> All right. All right. So back, just back to Christmas. Um, I thought we'd go a little deeper with maybe just acknowledging past Christmas hurts. You know, I think sometimes our memories are good, but sometimes our mind can settle on a negative thing. Uh -huh. And the eighties way of dealing with that was you just repress it. <laughs> true <laughs> or downplay it yes yeah um but i think now that millennials have something uh it's smart that they are doing with just really acknowledging and uh i've, I've learned a lot from this generation about how to acknowledge your feelings mm -hmm. and to process them mm -hmm. now you don't want to get stuck living in them so i still am believe in your mindset really helps with how you how you see things and so you don't want to have a negative mindset and you don't want to dwell on the negativity mm -hmm. but um but being able to process it in some way so whether you are journaling taking mm -hmm. it to the lord in prayer uh talking to a friend or a counselor um you know some kind of a releasing of this it it happened it hurt yeah how can you release it so it doesn't rule you? Because what what that can do is also uh, just start ruling your mind, and then you lose out on joys of the present, True. and and even relationships in the present. Sometimes we have to keep a relationship with a person who's hurt us, yeah. and they might be coming over for Christmas dinner. 
So it, it is hard. And so how do we have any coping mechanisms? You know, other family members that you can say, you know, sometimes this person corners me in the kitchen or says disparaging things about me. You know, can you, can you be my friend and my sister and hear, hear this and either stand up for me like, Hey, that's not nice. Uncle Bob. Sorry to all uncle Bob's out there. So, you know, so, right. but, you know, like someone can stand up for you and say, Hey, don't, or just come up beside you and say, that's not you. That's not you. They're just the mean old hag and let it go. Right. So I don't know what you'll have to know your personality and how you're going to handle that. If you're going to confront it at the Christmas table, or if you're going to, yeah, it's hard. It, so, you know, I don't anticipate anything. <laughs> I don't either, really. Fortunately, right now in our relationships. Right. But um, when you get a lot of people together, you know, people aren't perfect and they have bad days and there's background. So I would say, just don't let them steal your shine. Don't let them steal your shine. I like it. <laughs> okay. Well, I am sorry for the earthquake that keeps going on. I am not touching the table, but I feel it's still oh, on this. Right. It's all right. So anyway, it will be more stable next time. So thank you for joining us. Yes, I do wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas and hope that in all of those family and friend interactions that you're able to find joy and peace and uh, love with each other and just really enjoy it without being, you know, sidetracked by all the busyness or all right. the recipes or who bought who what. <laughs> All those make, things that make, can get in the way of what's really important is being present with each other. Make those memories. Yes, absolutely. Hugs and kisses. Happy holidays. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>